Ain't no way in hell I'm a racist. She Hispanic, she ain't black. Like most Hispanic people go go out and grind before a black person would. Ain't no way in hell I'm a colorist. I love black people. I motivate black people to be better all the time. Hey, what the fuck, bitch? You sound stupid as fuck. Like I let you know they ain't got nothing to say. Hey, be this bitch Hey, it's Marie. Thanks for clicking me where I give you thoughts and opinions and spill the real tea. So today, topic of discussion is Corey from Carmen and Corey. Welcome back, subbies. I know you're here for me to spill the tea. If you've never seen me before, that's cool. That's cool. Go ahead and hit subscribe so you can stay in tune. All right, you guys, let's get into the tea. If you don't know what's been going on, let me catch you up real quick, real fast. Corey. But nobody perfect. I'm not perfect. You guys not perfect. Anybody you dated not perfect. Nobody not perfect. But now he want to give her flowers. Oh, I love you. I never do this to you. I will be here for you. I'm going to do everything I can to show you how much you were to me in my life and show you that you mean the real to me. Nigga, you did that last time and you still cheated. How I really feel about her because I've told her this plenty of time, but you know, sometimes girls, they hear something in it like, ah, oh, no, but then sometimes in the back of their head, they'll still be wondering. And you still cheated. Bitch, throw him in the jail. So, Corey then goes to chime in and say, Carmen has more money than you and your whole family. Probably just by herself. Stop thinking she doesn't have her own money. Cool. I'm thinking, okay, he finna just stop there. But wait. She is not black. She's Hispanic. She can do for her own. So after Corey dug himself in this deep, deep hole, he pops up in my recommended. Okay. I'm gonna click it because what do you have to say now? <laughs> and this is what he had to say. Corey a race, Corey is colorist, Corey this, Corey that, Corey this, and Corey everything in the book. Okay, so the first thing that rubbed me the wrong way in this video that he did was out the jump, he's like, we're sensitive. The internet sensitive. Black people are sensitive. If you know what you're dealing with, why engage? You know you have this huge platform. You know you are who you are. If you haven't already, go ahead and stop what you're doing and subscribe. Why entertain it? Like, why entertain it? You said what you said. Stand by it. Ten toes down. And be done with it. But for him to make a whole video about it, it just threw me because I'm like, what do you have to say now? Well, I probably, I, you know what? I apologize because I'm going to say this. I probably could have worded it different. Whoa, 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 whoa. Was that an attempt at an apology? Are you admitting you were wrong? I just can't with this video because if you're gonna apologize, apologize sincerely and mean it. But you're apologizing for you could have said it better. You didn't have to include any race in what you said. It could have just been, my girl knows who she is, she know her work, she make more money than you and everybody in your family, period, point blank, done. But you took it a step further to get a reaction by saying, she's Hispanic. What the fuck does that mean? And it's just like, you trying me. You're trying it. And you can't give us a half-ass apology because your numbers have went down. Like, when I seen this video, it was dropped within an hour. And he was only at 20K views so you don't rub a lot of people the wrong way and now your money is about to get affected and now you want to act like you care don't do that for me sweetie don't do it for me and it's just for him to say the stuff that he was saying on live you knew what you were saying because you kept saying it be this be that be this be that these bees black bees 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 and you're saying oh well i'm black too so I can speak on my people. Not if you're speaking like that. And so to me, this video was a whole contradiction. Like, you can't justify with one hand and then say, I'm sorry, on the other hand, and then try to justify 
why you don't feel like you were wrong. What What are you apologizing for then? What are you apologizing for? And you're steady trying to give a reasoning to what you did. Oh, we don't know who controls the shade room team. So what? So what? Drama. They only post drama. How much positivity do you see on Atlanta Fox 5? I'll wait. Like, let's just be real. You know drama sells or will get to you faster. It's always been that way. Corey has been in the game too long not to know this by now. So stop trying to play like what you did was okay because it wasn't. It wasn't. And all those little black girls that you just tore down, it's not okay. It's not okay. So I just can't with him because you did not have to include race in it. You didn't. And if you're going to apologize, apologize and mean it. Don't apologize because you see your numbers affected. Just keep it real. You talk down on the same people that are helping you. Get to where you are. Everything doesn't require a response. Your platform is too big for you to be doing dumb stuff. And like, he had a clip in his video and said this. If I was racist or if I was colorless, just the month of 2000, I mean, just January 2020, I have gave $10,000 away to nothing but black women. I gave 10 black women $1,000 from the heart. This was before anything happened. Every other day, I'm always... If you haven't already, go ahead and stop what you're doing and subscribe. Giving money away. I'm helping black people. I give $100 away all the time. Majority, every, every, every giveaway I gave have been nothing but most of the black people. Black women and I, uh, a lot of black uh, guys. But majority of the time, all my giveaways considered black women. So how in the hell could I possibly be racist? So, congratulations, Corey. Like... You want a round of applause? You want a standing ovation? You want a Grammy? Like, what, what do you want? You want us to commend you on giving back to your community? Bruh, I'm grown. Let's be real. You giving back because you're going to get it back at the end of the year. That money got to go somewhere. Like, even if you are doing it from the goodness of your heart, cool, great, phenomenal. But when you're wrong, you're wrong. Like, you stop. Own it. Understand why you were wrong and move on. But nobody's going to commend you or put you on this pedestal because you're giving away 10K and giving away $100 and doing this and doing that. Okay. Okay. Like, whoop de damn dude. Do. So I don't know. I'm Corey just needs to just give up, give up, and for him to be like, "Oh, the internet twisted what I said." No, I can read y'all. The I need y'all to let me know what y'all think about all of this in the comment box down below. If you haven't already, go ahead and stop what you're doing and subscribe. Also, check out my previous video. I met Janae herself, and also my thoughts and opinions on See So Cool and royalty. Love you, Subby. I will see you in my next video. Peace. Hey, me this bitch a hit.